Hi, in this video we'll learn how to convert a linear equation from standard form to the slope intercept form. So first of all, the standard form of linear equation is ax plus by is equal to c. And the slope intercept form of the linear equation is y equals mx plus b. Now let's talk about this standard form of linear equation. In the standard form of linear equation, a is the coefficient of x term, b is the coefficient of y, and c is the constant term. And in the standard form, the x and y variables are all on the left-hand side, and the constant term remains on the right-hand side. And the standard form is really useful when you have to find the x and y intercept. Now let's talk about the slope intercept form. Slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. y-intercept is where the line is crossing the y-axis. Now the slope-intercept form is really useful to graph the linear equations because you can easily identify the slope and you can easily identify the y-intercept. See, slope is the coefficient of x, m is the slope, and the y-intercept is your constant term. So it's really easy to identify the slope and the y-intercept. That's why it's called the slope-intercept form because you have a slope in it and you have the y-intercept in it. So now what we need to do is we need to convert this linear equation from standard form to the slope-intercept form. Now notice that in the slope-intercept form, y is by itself, right? y is on the left-hand side and all the terms are on the right-hand side. But in the standard form, you have the x and y variables on the left-hand side and the constant term is on the right-hand side. So in order to convert from a standard form to the slope-intercept form, all you need to do is to solve this equation for y. We need to solve this equation for y. We need to isolate the y variable. And you see that the x term is on the right-hand side and the constant term is on the right-hand side. So all the terms except y is on the right-hand side in the slope-intercept form. So now we're going to start uh, converting our equation into slope-intercept form. So 3x minus 4y is equal to 8. Basically, we need to solve this equation for y. And in the slope-intercept form, the x is on the right-hand side. So all I need to do is to eliminate this x term from the left-hand side and bring that on the right-hand side. So to eliminate this x term from the left-hand side, I just need to subtract 3x from both sides of my equation. So I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. And remember, we have to do that on both sides to balance our equation. So this 3x minus 3x is going to be 0. And then we have negative 4y. We're going to bring that down and make sure that you bring that along with the sign is equal to 8 minus 3x. Well, we cannot subtract 3x from 8 because these are unlike terms, so we cannot combine them. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this negative 3x first. So negative 3x plus 8. Now, there's a reason behind why I'm doing, why I'm writing this 3x term, negative 3x term first, because if you look at the slope-intercept form, you have the x term first and then the constant term. So in order to convert into slope-intercept form, I need to write my x term first. That's why I have written negative 3x first and then plus 8. Now, 8 is going to be positive because it's positive, right? 8 is positive. It doesn't have any sign in front of it, so that's why we're going to consider it positive, right? Now, in order to um, solve this equation for y, in order to get y by itself, all we need to do is to get rid of this negative 4. Now, negative 4 times y, negative 4 is multiplied to y. So, in order to do the opposite of multiplication, we have to divide it, right? So, opposite of multiplying is dividing. So, we're going to divide both sides of an equation by negative 4. And when you divide, you have to divide every term by negative 4. So you're going to divide negative 3x by negative 4, and then you're going to divide 8 by negative 4. Now let's simplify this a little bit. Negative 4 and negative 4 is going to cancel out each other. We have y by itself, which is all we need. Then this negative 3 divided by negative 4, well, we cannot divide that. So we're going to leave this in the form of fraction, but we can just cancel out the negatives and negatives. So negatives and negatives is going to be positive. Negative divided by negative is positive. So we got 3 fourths x here. And then 8 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 2. So we got negative 2 here. 
And you see that this is in the form of y equals mx plus b. This is exactly matching with the slope intercept form. And it's really easy to identify the slope and the y intercept from this equation because slope is the coefficient of x. In my equation, the coefficient of x is 3 fourths. So I can say that my slope is 3 fourths. And the y-intercept is negative 2 because in the equation we have y equals mx plus b. So this can be written as y equals 3 fourths x plus negative 2. So I know that the y-intercept is negative 2. So b is equal to negative 2. So this is going to be your final equation in the slope-intercept form. That's how you convert your equation from standard form to the slope-intercept form. That's all in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to this channel and want to see more videos on other math topics, be sure to subscribe down below and share it with your friends. See you in next video.